I'm down here at the Kitsilano Coast Guard uh, base to meet with Tyler, the officer in charge, to find out what they do to keep us safe here in the Burrard Inlet. So I'm Tyler Payne, officer in charge of the Kitsilano Coast Guard base. Uh, newly reopened last year in May. Uh, primary, we're search and rescue for the Greater Vancouver area, House Sound, Indian Arm. Uh, we also involve a lot with uh, environmental response. Oh yeah, so at Kitsilano we have three vessels right now. We have two search and rescue vessels and this, the PRV665 is our environmental response vessel. Pretty much like a big pickup truck on the water. We've got a big deck out there. Right now we have 700 feet of boom on it as well. You're able to, it's a landing craft, you can drive it right up onto the beach, let the ride go there as a work platform. Uh, oil sheens on the water is the big one, right? Like, um, it's such a popular area and we're always getting people calling in, you know, oil sheens up and down the creek and Vancouver Harbor as well out by all the beaches and stuff like that. So primarily when that happens, they report it to um, the Regional Operations Center over Victoria and then from there it's passed on to an environmental response officer because if you look at Falls Creek we got over 2,000 boats there right? so what happens especially at this time of year you get the heavy rains and they fill the vessels up with water and the bilges and everybody's got automatic bilge pumps well that discharges overboard and even if there's a small trace of oil in the vessel it makes a sheen out and then usually an hour or so later we get called out and then we get to try and pinpoint where it comes out. Every once in a while we'll get lucky. From there um, dealing with small you know paddle boards, kayaks, canoes, um, we had a couple vessel fires, people stricken on the beach, um, hurt, falling off the seawall, uh, vessels going to ground some of the beaches around here, Spanish Banks is a big one. Um, that, so yeah, there's no real flavor of the month every day, you know, you know, you're getting five or six calls a day and everyone is completely different. So much, uh, for the last year, from May till December, we had 276 search and rescue call outs. Um, and then Spanish Banks is a good one to get people running up on. It's one of the best marked um, sandbars on the coast and people hit it all the time here. We had one vessel catch on fire just off Passage Island, sort of um, just off Point Atkins and we got the call, there's five people on board headed out there by the time we got you know a mile off you can see the vessel was fully engulfed, the people had to jump in the water and fortunately enough we got one of the fire boats was out training. We went up, grabbed the people off of it and then the fire boat came up right behind us and put up the fire. It was just Perfect, it went real well. There has been problems with um, freighters and engine troubles and that when they're coming in and out, but there's so many tugs here, they're on the water all the time, and everybody's on it like that. And everybody, you know, there's massive tugs with 10,000 horsepower, and they're grabbing onto two or three of them, grab onto a freighter, and they got full control. Oh, out here, you know, once they clear the narrows, they're cranking up, you know, doing 18, 20 knots. They're moving. Depends on the type of ship. You know, general cargo ships, it's all based on what they carry and how nice the vessel is. Kind of like, you know, container ships and oil carriers and stuff, they got big money products, so there's a lot of money invested in the vessel and the crew, so they're using the fast ones, especially container ships. Tell everybody to slow down, think safety, right? That's the biggest thing. Think of what you're doing, plan your voyage, you know, bring all the safety equipment, have your PFDs accessible. We see that a lot. Everybody has them on board, but they'll be stowed away down below decks or under seats, like, and stuff happens really quick. So you want to have those accessible. Um, like, this is Vancouver's playground, like, the way you want to think about it. And everybody's out there to have a good time and you know, have fun the water and we're just there to make sure everybody gets home safe. Yeah.